Hello, this is Stacy Jensen from Color Veil, and today I'm going to show you how to use our Cloud and Boca Overlay Set. Within side of the set, you will receive an action, which should be installed in Photoshop or Elements to help you place these much easier. You do not have to use the actions, but again, it really helps to speed up your process. So for this photo that I'm going to use, and this is from Amy, I am going to click play on my Place Cloud Overlay. Once you click that, it's going to ask you which cloud you do need to find your folder that you downloaded of the clouds. Find which one you want to use. So we're going to go ahead and just click our um, something neutral will be just fine. So we're going to click regular clouds. It's going to place the clouds and you can move them up. I am moving this set up a little bit because I do want the smaller clouds. We will keep just a little bit of the bigger once you place it where you want, I have made it a little larger than my photograph and that helps me uh, so that I don't have to worry about it being uh, too small and showing right on the edges. Once I've done that, I'm going to click the check mark. It is going to place it and also change the opacity and you'll receive a message that says now paint over the areas you do not want the bokeh or clouds to appear. Click continue. You need to get a paintbrush of 100%. Your paintbrush will be selected and on black. And you're going to paint over the areas that you do not want it. So we're going to paint over our subject. We're going to paint over the water. Then what we're going to do is change our opacity down somewhere in the 40s. Grab a little bit larger of a brush and just let it brush away from our horizon a bit. One more time, we're going to walk it down somewhere in the 20s, go a little bit higher than our horizon so that we can wipe things. And this allows it to naturally fade. So hopefully that helps you. Thank you so much for watching.